Spoonflower is a website that allows crafters to print their own fabric. Uh, Spoonflower was actually my wife's idea, uh, Kim. Uh, she is one of uh, a generation of women who've sort of rediscovered things like sewing and knitting and gardening and baking uh, as a personal hobby and, and uh, in her case, really even a passion. Uh, a year and a half ago, I never would have believed that I'd be in the textile business uh, printing fabric. I didn't know anything about fabric didn't know anything about sewing. I've never sewed anything, actually, to say I can't even put a button back on my pants when it falls off. But uh, Kim uh, uh, said to me one night, uh, you know, there are all these websites. I can, uh, you can print t-shirts, you can print calendars, you can print coffee cups, uh, bumper stickers. Uh, is there anywhere where I can print my own fabric? Well, it turned out there wasn't. Uh, I knew a little bit about this kind of business. Uh, because I used to work for a website called lulu.com, which is uh, another North Carolina-based business. Uh, it's an internet site, and they do print-on-demand books. Uh, so I knew, hypothetically, there was no reason that she couldn't print her own fabric. I mean, you can digitally produce fabric just as you can digitally produce uh, most things. It's a little more expensive than mass producing it, uh, but if you create a front end using the internet, uh, there's no reason that you can't let people sort of do the creative work on their own and produce a unique, uh, one-of-a-kind product just for one person if you need to. Uh, so uh, a year and a half ago, I approached uh, a former colleague from Lulu who had actually been my boss there, Gart Davis, uh, who also knew a thing or two about this kind of business. And we sat down and we had coffee. Uh, he was leaving Lulu at the time. And uh, we said, well, what about print-on-demand fabric? We put a survey online asking people what they thought about the idea of printing their own fabric. The response just to that simple survey that was posted on a, a sewing blog uh, was so overwhelming that Gart and I immediately knew uh, that there was a market for this product larger than just my wife or his wife. We launched a demo website. It was invitation only. Uh, uh, TC Squared did the printing for us because we didn't have an office or anything. Uh, we cut and shipped the fabric over the summer of 2008 uh, over our kitchen table. And uh, uh, by the end of the summer, we had a waiting list of 10,000 people who wanted to use the website. We couldn't let them all in because we didn't have the ability to actually produce that much fabric. Uh, so uh, at that point, uh, Gart Davis and I invested in our first digital textile printer, uh, which we ordered from Korea. And we moved into this, which is a, a former sock mill in downtown Mebane, North Carolina. The growth of Spoonflower thus far, and we're up to you know, 50,000 users and uh, growing, has been driven entirely by word of mouth uh, through what we call the craft blogosphere. People who blog, mostly women, uh, who write about things that they make and uh, who have a passion for making the, uh, things themselves and for expressing themselves uh, through making things. What's special about Spoonflower is that it is really a community uh, of people. We have a blog, uh, we have a group on Twitter, we have a group on Facebook, we have a group on Flickr that shares photos of the things that they make. And the people that participate in our community, uh, by and large, uh, not only love to make things and express themselves by making designs for fabric, but they love to see what other people are making and the ways that other people have chosen to express themselves by uh, making designs for fabric. It's a really supportive uh, community, and in, in some ways it's all about uh, sharing this creativity, uh, as well as just uh, the more mundane uh, printing of fabric, which is what we do all day long here. But if it wasn't, you know, if, if it wasn't for that community, uh, this would be a very different kind of business, and, and I don't think any of us would enjoy it nearly as much as we do. One of the amazing things about Spoonflower, and this was true really from the day that Gart and I launched the beta version of our website, is that uh, uh, roughly 25% of our business has actually come from overseas. And uh, you know, a lot of that is Canada and the UK and Australia, but we send fabric all, really all over the world. Uh, uh, you know, we, our, our customer list spans dozens of countries. Um, and uh, so yeah, I suppose that's unusual in the sense that you know, the traditional North Carolina textile manufacturing has all gone overseas, so most of the fabric actually uh, that people buy comes, comes from overseas back to North Carolina, and we're actually sending the fabric uh, the other way. Thank you.